Welcome to Build the Bud. We've got to look at something a little bit different today. Rather do a bit of brickwork, we've got to look at some carpentry. We've got to be fixing a uh, picture rail all around here, around this fireplace. And this side as well. Then we've got both that door around there, that side of the window. We've got to fix skewing boards down there, all around that. You can see around that fireplace, we've brought that fireplace back to life a bit. And basically we're giving this room a makeover. So we've knocked it all back to bare bones, knocked the plaster off, we've put insulation boards on, battened it, formed it, and you can see we've had to, these wooden reveals make them a bit bigger. And then we've got that plain back, that's, that's looking good, and we've got to put an arc drip on there, which we'll, we'll show as we go along. So anyway, let's get started. And let's see what we can do, see if we can make this look something really good. So now I'm putting a, a line through there. What I'm doing next is behind all the walls is uprights, battens, and what I did before I was plastered, I wrote all my markings down on there, and I'm now going to transfer them so that I know exactly where to pin with my pin gun. Pitch right on. Now a little tip. Now that's a silly little tip I always have ready when I'm doing something using the glue. Have a pack of wet wipes available. They cost peanuts, but go get a bit of sticky somewhere, it's just easy to just clear it and shit and chuck it away. Right, there's how it go. Now you, there's a lot of adhesives on the market and everyone's got their own choice, but for me, I prefer this one. That's a clear. You don't need a lot. And that's quite pliable. Some of them are quite thick. So I like this one. It's absolutely clear. It's not cheap, but I'm afraid you get what you pay for. Little zigzags. Do that. Just clean that up like that. Put that back on there. Not panic. Let him hang here. Let's see what we can do. <laughs> so what I've done then, I use my dead man, I've got a six foot eleven and a crate. <laughs> That's just my other pair of hands at the moment. I'll just stick that like that. Now, get the pin gun. And bear in mind that I've got them little marks up there, which you can see that. This is from the top of the line, and there's the line. Let's see if we can get that in there. Sweet that. Line. It's good. Get one in the corner. Lovely. That's got that good. Work the way along. You don't need to go mad with your fixings. The glue's got to make sure you squeeze the glue. See the line. Good. Like that. Yeah, it's looking good. I'm happy with this. Work well. So remember, just to squeeze the glue. On the line. Dead man away. Get rid of that. Let's see where we are. Squeeze up there. That's good. It's got a good bite. Right, that's the first one in. Do now, now we've got the wet wipe. This wipe off in the excess. You always get some, no matter how little you put. You can see it just there, look. Just wipe that off. And when you decorate, you'll fill there anyway. B 
feet. Yep. On the top. Got that. Yep. Right, we've got no excess, we've cleared all the excess off, that's pinned. We've got that, we can the decoration. Okay, so let's have a look. First section in, happy with that. And what we'll do now is, do the return. So we can do that return there if we want first, or we can do that one there. And I'm thinking I'm gonna play with that one. But to do that, I've got to fix a piece of archer up here temporarily to get the measurement from there to the archer. But I'll show you more in a second. I know what fits my archer if I'm in this window reveal, so what I do is I've got to create a little margin of 6mm I'll put a mark there like that go like this When we first started in the game, that was a quarter inch, but we saw this is where we're at now, the old metrics do the same there and now your little guides and we should do that same with the corner up that way and that way, that's your natural corner point and the only problem you have when you're doing old places like this, everything's bent and twisty, you, and you've got to make an exact 45 degrees, 90 degrees there, that's hard. So you've got to use a little bit of intuition, a little bit of knowledge, a little bit of good luck. Park that through there. You know, you could have whatever margin you want, it's up to you, but the sort of industry standard is something like that, six mils, what we're looking at. Yep. And that works well, it's worked well for years. Mind you, you go someplace and you see them, like that. I used a bit inch for two for a guide. Beep, 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 beep. That bit there. And when you're doing your carpentry, always have a sharp pencil. And sometimes when you want a little contemplation, you get that like so, and you go in there, and you, hmm, you have a little think. Well, sharp and old pencil. Lovely job. 45. Just line that up. And then we want the mirror. One for that, it's got to be there. Let's get that on there. Let's just try that dry. Oh, look, I just mark that so I can see what I'm up against. It's got to go there. If we go a little further, I can just mark the finest point. So that's our measurement point. So we can sign this one. Beep, 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 beep. Put him up there, like so. Da, 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 da. That's got to come somewhere there. And then that one will come, hopefully, Something like that. If I put it to that point and that point there, and we put a little pencil mark there, you can then see where we've got to cut that into that. Right, so we've got to put a mitre on there, which we're going to have a go at, make that fit in there, then we can cut this to suit. Lovely. I'm just going to cut my down. Got a scribe round, sorry. We've got to cut a scribe. So what I like to do is get my pencil Mark 
So that's the shape we want. We got to saw the new blade. See what we can do. Beep 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 When you cut this with your saw that's difficult to get as tight as you want sometimes so you usually just get your standing knife gently trim it off and the bit where you've got to catch it is just there you're trying to get it so that nothing sticks out you look at it, nothing goes like that. It's got to go backwards. That's what we call a back cut. So I think we're somewhere there. Let's have a look. Right. Oh, I'm going to that. Is. Pop that in there. We'll just tap that like that. Lovely. Get that there. Make sure we're on the bubble. Yep, lovely. So now we've marked that's how that's in there. We've marked there where the arc drive's got to come, so we'll put a pencil mark there. We're we'll going to cut that, get that to fit, then we'll have a little dummy run, see how we're doing. Okay, let's put that in there. Well, we'll tap the east wing. Let's see what we've got. Right, so we just want another smidge off that I would say, a little bit. So we want the merest smidge off there. Let's have a look. Scribe in there, little tap. Now that's going to be good that is. Lovely job, we might have to just put a little slight chamfer on what we do it later. Okay, let's get this one fixed. So now, I've marked my line, and I've got to just mark my points of fixing. Of course, there's obviously battens on there, and I'll have to consult the book. And that's a joint. Alright. So you don't need to over dirt on this, just a little, get that on there, get the old hammer out, bish bish bish, right, push him in there, little tap, that's good. Just get a wet one, check for any significant BB BB. straight in the corner and then we've got a scribe and a miter. Complete shape, we've got there, we've got a roll around there, and then we'll head around this fireplace. In the cooker land where you all have a big bench and blah blah blah, this is the real world, you're doing it on site. Yeah, so this is how it is. Alright, let's get that up there. Here's my dead man again up there, look. Pins, but <coughs> right, let's try to start. There we go. I'll put my little marks. You can see them, little pencil marks.
the ones we pulled off here was held on before he cut nails. I mean, wow, that's just unbelievable. But that's all he had. He didn't have all these fancy fixings and glues that we have today. We're privileged, really. All right, let's have a look. So we've got that. This is the opposite side of the room. There, and now I'll do that return to the window. Then I can put the arch around the window. So if we pan around, you see we've got that side there. And you've got that lovely tight scribe in there. Look, there's no gap in that. That's exactly what you're looking for. So when I mirror that on the other side, key to this, not to saw as hard, but there's a gentle, sharp blade, flat cut. Everyone achieves it a little differently. Lovely. Have some of that. So now we'll put the arch around there. I'll finish that side off. Okay, we've got the arch up around there. Yeah. That one's set lovely. Yeah, good, yeah. Um, uh, that one opened up a bit because the plaster's has faded right back. I can get over that, it's not an issue. So we've got that around there. When I go around the room, so now I've got to take on the bit around the fireplace. Push that one in there. Okay, the key to this, don't rush it, sharp blade, and a sleep back cut. The saving grace on this one is, because there's a pitch well, you don't see the top, so you can't be rough, but at the same time, you've got a little bit of tolerance. There, yes, that's good. And we've got a, a mitre there, extra mitre. So let's have a little bit of glue. De a little smudge in there.
beep, 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 beep. That's good. Yeah. Pitch a barrel in. Next one will be, you get the skirting boards on next, we'll do that the other day. Got that arch of all round detail all around there. Beep, 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 beep. Thanks for watching, hope this helps. Remember please subscribe. Okay, let's have a look at the finished product. So you saw it earlier, we're fitting the picture rail. This is it all decorated in. Got to say, it's looking pretty good. The motors look nice. That old door don't look too good. <laughs> but we'll replace that soon anyway. Cool, we'll get a little close up of some of the joints, have we? Let's have a look. Maybe it's a lovely motor, look. Scribe. Same there. I'm really pleased those come out. You can also see our motors. Our arms are. 